Right now at the state capitol, lawmakers and advocates are making their final arguments for or against a proposed law that would require convictions to be sealed after a certain length of time here in New York. It's called the Clean Slate Act, and it's the biggest issue still on the table in this legislative session. CBS 6's Tom Eschen found there's a lot of emotion involved here. For formerly incarcerated individuals like Lookie Forbes, their conviction record is a barrier, even beyond time served. I've actually applied to numerous of jobs where I was able to get the second interview. People were telling me that I should actually apply for a managerial position. Yet when it came down to the line and the background checks came through, I, I, lost, I, I lost that opportunity. He says the Clean Slate Act would be a beacon of hope, calling it an economic bill, a housing bill, a racial justice bill. It allows us to now publicly say that we believe individuals um, deserve a second chance and our laws now reflect that. But now, for lawmakers, it's about making it as fair as they can for all. The latest version would seal records after three years for misdemeanors and eight years for felonies. Many Class A felonies and sex crimes would not be sealed. Sealing means they're still there for law enforcement and any other regulatory body like motor vehicles to access those records. That distinction important for people like Michael Stewart, who in 2012 lost his son Christopher in a crash caused by a drunk and drug driver, Dennis Drew, who was just released on parole. Those type things should not be hidden from the general public. And it's not the type thing that's, uh, it's, it's not safety uh, for the community to seal those things. Since his son's death, Stewart has worked to amplify the voices of victims, pushing legislation called Christopher and Deanna's Law, which would require that parole commissioners watch video of victim impact statements. It's just very important for them to see the emotions of the family and not just read it on some type of piece of paper. He and other families we spoke with, like the victims of the Schoharie limo tragedy, aren't against allowing individuals a second chance following their sentence, but they want their voices heard when it comes to sealing their records. This, one of the reasons the District Attorney's Association of New York is pushing back against this version of Clean Slate. One of the most important things to them and for them is the ability to speak on behalf of their family member who cannot. And, and that's what this disregards. And so, you know, to, to further victimize those families um, without consideration just doesn't make sense. But the bill supporters say the time allotted before records are sealed statistically would help show their commitment to creating a new life, something they say can change a culture. Having people have access to these resources, we're going to create a completely new future just with passing this one bill.